Super Youth Language School. American English for Superstars. Book 7A. Lesson 1. Possessive Pronouns. Page 1. The Jensen family is sitting down having dinner. This is my family. This is my mother. Her name is Linda. This is my father. His name is Paul. This is my brother. His name is Josh. This is my sister. Her name is Claire. This is my cousin. His name is David. This is my cousin. Her name is Sally. This is our table. It is ours. That is their table. It is theirs. Page 2. The food arrives. Luke, this potato soup is yours. Thank you, Mom. Yes, it's mine. This fried fish is yours. Sausage and chips? This is Claire's. It's hers. Hamburger and beans? That's mine. Where's mine? Spaghetti bolognese. That's for Josh. It's his. Two chicken salads. David and Dad. These are yours. Enjoy your meals. 1. Whose family is having dinner? 2. What is Luke's sister's name? 3. Whose is the potato soup? 4. Whose is the spaghetti bolognese? 5. Which meal is Sally's? 6. What does mom have? Page 3. Rolling. This is my book. It's mine. These are my books. They're mine. That's your cat. It's yours. Those are your cats. They're yours. That's her dress. It's hers. Those are her dresses. They're hers. That's their dog. It's theirs. Those are their dogs. They're theirs. Lesson 2. Yes, no questions. Page 6. Helen is talking with her friend Natalie. They are discussing their plans for the weekend. Hi, Helen. Are you busy? No, I'm not. I'm just cooking something to eat. It's a horrible day. Is it raining over there? Yes, it is. Are you cooking that recipe we learned in the cookery class this week? No, I'm not. I'm cooking fried rice. Does your family like fried rice? Yes, they do. Okay, I'll bring some over this afternoon. There's too much for just me. Are you free this weekend, Helen? Yes, I am. What do you want to do? I think we should go ice skating on Saturday. Do you want to go? Do you want to go to the movies, too? No, I want to go ice skating, but I don't want to go to the movies. I went last night. Okay, that's fine with me. About the ice skating, do you know Bill, the guy who works there? No, I don't know him. Is he your friend? Yes, he is. He can get us a discount. Sounds great. What about Sunday? Are you playing tennis as usual? No, I'm not. Not this Sunday. I'm working at the swimming pool. Do you want to come along? When I finish, we can go swimming there. Yes, I do. So, I'll see you this afternoon? Okay, can't wait. Bye, Helen.
One, what is Helen doing when Natalie calls her? Two, what is the weather like? Three, what two things does Natalie want to do? Four, what does Helen want to do? Five, who works at the ice skating rink? Six, what does Natalie usually do on Sundays? Seven, what do Natalie and Helen plan to do this Sunday? Lesson three. WH questions. Page 11. A class is doing a questionnaire about their best friends. They have to work in pairs and ask each other questions. Brandon is working with Lauren. Hi, Brandon. So, who is your best friend? My best friend is Jason. Okay. How old is he? He's 11 years old. Where does he live? He lives at 363 Denny Way, Seattle. What's his favorite food? His favorite? I'm not sure, but I know he loves sushi. Which does he prefer, the beach or the city? Oh, he definitely prefers the beach. What is that? What's his favorite sport? That's easy. He likes surfing, like me. What's he like? He's a funny guy, but he's always there when you need help. When do you normally hang out with him? Usually after school or on weekends when we don't have school. Where do you usually hang out? We usually hang out at the skate park around the mall or at the beach. Thanks, Brandon. 1. Who is Brandon's best friend? 2. How old is he? 3. Where does he live? 4. Why does Brandon like the beach? 5. What is he like? 6. Where do Brandon and his best friend usually hang out? 7. What is your best friend like? Lesson 4, Review 1, page 16. The students of Class 1C have to give a presentation about their favorite teacher. Rosie is the first to present in front of the class. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'd like to tell you all about my favorite teacher. Okay, Rosie. Who's your favorite teacher? Her name's Miss Lopez. Which subject does she teach? She teaches Spanish. How many languages can she speak? Do you know? Yes, I do. She can speak three languages, English, Spanish, and French. Page 17. Okay, please continue, Rosie. What's she like? She's a tall woman. She's thin and has long, brown, curly hair. She wears glasses and dresses smartly. She's very funny and makes me laugh all the time. She's clumsy and always drops things on the floor, but she is very smart. She has a husband and she lives with him and her young son, Kai, in the city. Thanks for listening. Do you have any questions? Yes. What does she like to do in her free time? She likes listening to Latin music. And she likes dancing. When did you first meet her? I first met her on my first day at this school, two years ago. What does she dislike? She dislikes pasta and kiwi fruit. How does she come to school? She comes to school by motorbike. 
She's my favorite teacher. Now, I've told you about mine. Please tell me about yours. One, who is Rosie's favorite teacher? Two, which languages can she speak? Three, what does she look like? Four, what's her young son's name? Five, what kind of music does she like? Six, what does she dislike? Seven, how does she come to school? Lesson five. Question words as direct objects. Page 21. Maria, Caitlin, and Jennifer have just arrived in the cafeteria. Where will we sit? Look, there's a free table over by the window. Let's sit there. Okay, let's go up and get some food. What would you like to eat? I'd like sausage, mash, and beans, please. I'd like a hamburger with chips, please. Oh, what's that girl eating over there? She's eating grilled chicken with potatoes. That looks good. I'll have that, please. There you go. Now, what would you like to drink? Three sodas, please. Right. Jennifer? Caitlin? Right. Okay. Where are you sitting? I'll bring them over. Thanks. We're sitting over there, by the window. 1. Where do the three friends sit? 2. What does Maria eat? 3. What does Caitlin eat? 4. What does Jennifer look at? 5. What do they order to drink? 6. What is your favorite food? Page 24. Practice speaking. Susan is busy in the afternoons. After school, she comes home, she does her homework, and she takes the dog for a walk. She feeds the dog. She eats dinner, then she clears the table. She brushes her teeth. She watches TV. She watches for only two hours. Her parents only allow her two hours. Then she goes to bed. A. What does she do? B. What does she feed? C. What does she clear? D. What does she brush? E. What does she watch? What do you do after school? Lesson 6. Question words as subjects. Page 26. The Green family is at the zoo for a day out. They pay the entrance fee and walk through the tall iron gates. The first enclosure they come to is the penguins. Wow, Mom! Look at all the penguins. There are so many of them. Yes, I see. And look how cute those fluffy gray babies are, too. Mom, look over there. What can you see, Sarah? It's a real tiger. Look at its sharp teeth. It has such beautiful black and orange stripes. I can't see it. Where is it? It's climbing up that tree, over there. Can you see it now? Oh, yes. It looks like it's eating a big piece of meat. I think it's lunchtime for the animals now. The keeper is feeding all the animals. Mom! What is it, Joey? Page 27. 
Mom turns around to see Joey on the back of an elephant. What are you doing up there, Joey? Be careful. I'm fine, Mom. The view from up here is amazing. Do you have your camera? Sarah's is in my bag, but I don't know where yours is. Mine is in my pocket. Here, I'll take some photos so you can see later. How can I get up there, Joey? Let me come up too. What are you doing? Why is my elephant slowing down? I'm feeding it some bananas. Well, stop it, okay? Okay, come on now, kids. We need to start walking. We're going to see the crocodiles next. I'm sure they're hungry. And if you don't hurry up, I may give one of you to them as an extra snack. One, which animals do they see first? Two, who sees the tiger first? Three, what does the tiger look like? Four, where is the tiger? Five, where is Joey's camera? Six, why does the elephant stop? Seven, what did mom say about the crocodiles? Page 31. Lesson 7. Question words as adverbs. A group of four friends, Mike, Billy, Susan, and John, are traveling to the countryside for a camping trip. When they arrive, they start unpacking the tent, as it will soon be nighttime. Where's Billy? I need some help with this tent. I'm here. Where are the tent pegs? Tent pegs? Um, I put them on the barbecue. What? I thought they were firewood. What can we do? Where can we sleep? Don't worry. I'm going to look for something to use instead. Page 32. It's fine. It's a nice evening. We can just make a fire and sleep outside. Are you crazy? What about all the bears and snakes and spiders? I work in a zoo, Mike. I love those animals. I like animals too, but I don't want to sleep with them. I'm cooking us something for dinner. Susan will be back soon. Don't panic. Here, are these sticks okay? I guess so. John's cooking the dinner. Let's get our beds ready. Which sleeping bag is yours, Mike? Well, it's not the pink one with the horses on it, that's for sure. Is that one yours, Billy? Ha ha, that one isn't mine. Maybe it's John's? It's mine. Mike's is the green one with the stripes on it. Billy, which one is yours? Mine is the blue one. So John's must be the red one. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, let's go and have dinner and decide what we are going to do tomorrow. 1. Who does Mike want to help him with the tent? 2. What does Susan put on the barbecue? 3. Where does John suggest that they sleep? 4. Where does John work? 5. What does Susan come back with? 6. Whose sleeping bag has horses on? 7. What color is Billy's sleeping bag? Page 34. Practice speaking. Every summer, my dad, brother, and I go camping at least twice a month. We usually go camping in the countryside. We just love camping on warm summer days. We bring our little fishing boat to
to the lake and row across the cool, calm water. We throw down the anchor, cast our fishing rods, and relax while catching lots of catfish. The lakes are large and there aren't many people around. It is nice and relaxing to be away from the people. The lakes are surrounded by tall trees and old bridges. My favorite part is the smell of the burning campfires and smoky food we cook. It is a great escape from people. Camping is my favorite thing to do with my family, no matter when or where it may be. Do you like camping? Use the list of vocabulary on page 35. Page 35. Practice speaking. 1. Tent. 2. Backpack. 3. Sleeping bag. 4. Binoculars. 5. Compass. 6. Campfire. 7. Camper van. 8. Matches. 9. Thermos bottle or flask. 10. Flashlight. 11. Hiking boots. 12. Lantern. Page 36. Lesson 8, Review 2. William was asked by his principal to show a new student around school. Hi, what's your name? My name's Miguel. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Nice to meet you. I'm William. Okay, follow me. Over here is the library, the computer room, and the assembly hall. Page 37. Where is the canteen? The canteen is that way, just after the toilet block. It looks closed. When is it open? It's open at 12.30 p.m. lunchtime. What is that big red building for? That building is the gymnasium. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is science. Really? Why? My father and mother are both scientists. What do your parents do? My mother is a teacher and my father is a businessman. Where do you live? I live on Limestone Avenue, Canberra. Oh, that's near from me. Do you want to hang out later? Okay, cool. I'll meet you after school. 1. What is the new student's name? 2. Which rooms does William show him first? 3. What time does the canteen open? 4. What color is the gymnasium? 5. What is the new student's favorite subject and why? 6. Where does William live? 7. Does the new student live nearby? Page 41. Lesson 9. Past Simple Regular Verbs A. Repeat after your teacher. Last night, she danced with her friend. She watched TV. She listened to music. She brushed her teeth. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. I danced. I didn't dance. Did I dance? He danced. 
He didn't dance. Did he dance? She danced. She didn't dance. Did she dance? It danced. It didn't dance. Did it dance? We danced. We didn't dance. Did we dance? You danced. You didn't dance. Did you dance? They danced. They didn't dance. Did they dance? The boy danced. The boy didn't dance. Did the boy dance? The boys danced. The boys didn't dance. Did the boys dance? Page 42. Past simple regular verbs. Part B. The pronunciation of ED. Id, after D or a T. Skated, painted, dusted, wanted, needed, mended, tended, attended. T, after a voiceless sound. Kissed, fixed, danced. Washed, watched, laughed, sniffed, worked, jumped. D, after a voiced sound. Robbed, hugged, crawled, combed, listened, snored, dived, used. Changed, played. Part C. Common adverbs of time for the past simple tense. Last night, last Monday, last June, last Christmas, last week, last month, last year. A long time ago. Long ago, two hours ago, three days ago, four weeks ago, five months ago, six years ago. Yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, the day before yesterday, in 2009, present 2011. In March, present, July. Page 43. Past simple regular verbs. Abby works in a bank in Hong Kong. She calls her mother about once every two weeks to catch up. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? What are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. I finished work about an hour ago. I'm just sitting on the sofa watching TV. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the house. What did you do last weekend? Well, your father and I watched a concert in the city. Which concert did you watch? We watched the Rolling Stones. Did you have a good time? Yes, quite good. But not as good as I remember them being when I watched them in 1960. That was a long time ago, Mom. Yes, I know. So, what did you do? Anything exciting? Page 44. Past Simple Regular Verbs. Some girlfriends and I visited the mall on Saturday morning to look for some new clothes. After that, we walked over the bridge to a fancy floating restaurant. What did you have? We enjoyed some traditional Chinese food called dim sum. It was delicious. 
Did you do anything else? Yes. In the evening, we visited a place called Nan Lian. What did you go there for? They have some really beautiful gardens. We went there and just walked around and looked at the scenery. Did you do anything on Sunday? Well, after Nan Lian Gardens, we decided to go to a nightclub. We danced all night, and I got home late, so I was very tired the next day. And stayed in bed for most of Sunday morning. In the afternoon, we decided to go bowling. It sounds like you had an exciting weekend. I have to go and finish the cleaning now. Talk to you soon, Abby. Okay, bye, Mom. One, what is Abby's mom doing? Two, when did Abby finish work? Three. What did Abby's mom do on the weekend? Four. What did Abby do on Saturday morning? Five. What did she eat? Six. When did they go to Nan Lian Gardens? Seven. What did they do there? Eight. Why was Abby tired on Sunday? Nine. What did they do on Sunday afternoon? Ten. What did you do on the weekend? Page forty-five. Practice speaking. What did you do yesterday? Last week? Last month? One. To walk. Walk. Two, to smile. Three, to jump. Four, to cry. Five, to dance. Six, to laugh. Seven. To yawn. Eight. To listen. Nine. To dive. Ten. To cross. Eleven. To brush. Twelve. Play. Thirteen to dust. Fourteen to tidy. Fifteen to clean. Sixteen to wash. Seventeen to cook. Eighteen to listen. Nineteen to dry. Twenty to carry. Page forty-six. Lesson ten: Past simple irregular verbs. A. Repeat after your teacher. Yesterday, he bought a car. He read a newspaper. He slept well. He drew a picture. I slept. I didn't sleep. Did I sleep? He slept. He didn't sleep. Did he sleep? She slept. She didn't sleep. Did she sleep? It slept. It didn't sleep. Did it sleep? We slept. We didn't sleep. Did we sleep? You slept. You didn't sleep. Did you sleep? They slept. They didn't sleep. Did they sleep? The boy slept. The boy didn't sleep. 
Did the boy sleep? The boys slept. The boys didn't sleep. Did the boys sleep? Page 48. Past simple irregular verbs. The class was asked to work in pairs and draw pictures of what their parents did the previous day. Then they showed them to the rest of the class. The students had to guess what the other parents did. I think your parents slept for the whole day. No, they didn't sleep for the whole day, just most of it. I think your parents ate at Pizza Hut? Yes, they did. We eat there every week. Your parents went swimming? That's not a swimming pool. It's soup. They ate soup. Sally, your parents bought a lot of things at the store, right? Page 49. That's right. They spent so much money. Your parents are teachers, right, Sam? So they taught at school on, on the weekend. Yes, you're right. I think Ruby's parents found some money. No, they wish. My parents went to the bank on the weekend. Your parents went to the zoo? Didn't they, Alice? No, they didn't go to the zoo. They just watched a program about animals on TV. Your parents went skiing, Paul. Yes, they did. They have some friends in the mountains who they often stay with. The teacher was very impressed with all of the students' pictures, so she hung them all on the wall for everyone who visited the classroom to see. 1. What did Ben's parents do on the weekend? 2. How often does Ben eat at Pizza Hut? 3. What do Sam's parents do? 4. What did they do on the weekend? 5. Where did Ruby's parents go? 6. Did Alice's parents go to the zoo? 7. Whose parents' weekend do you think was exciting? 8. Whose weekend was boring? 9. What did your parents do on the weekend? Page 50. Practice speaking. What did you do yesterday or last week or last month? Sell. Sold. Send. Sent. Swim. Swam. Stand. Stood. Grow. Grew. Hang. Hung. Sit. Sat. Sleep. Slept. Drive. Drove. Tell. Told. Draw. Drew. Sweep. Swept. Break. Broke. Give. Gave. Buy. Bought. Speak. Spoke. Write. Wrote. Eat. Ate. Sing. Sang. Do. Did. Make. Made. Teach. Taught. Ride. Rode. Think. Thought. Take. Took. Page 51. Lesson 11. Past Simple Questions. The Scolding Little Bird. The little bird heard her mother scolding her sister because she didn't dust her nest. The entire day the little bird copied its mother and used these words, You stupid, dirty, naughty rascal! 
useless idiot, lazy creature, filthy animal. The news about this funny little bird spread in the forest. All the animals planned to visit it. First, the giraffe came. The little bird scolded the giraffe non-stop for three minutes. The giraffe rolled on the floor with laughter. The giraffe spread the news by adding its own experience. The lion decided to get a scolding next. The mother of the little bird made it sit on a small stone. It started scolding as usual. The lion was not able to control its laughter and ended with a big roar. The little bird was scared. It hugged its mother and said, I will never scold anyone ever again. Page 52. Past Simple Questions. A. 1. Why did the mother scold the little bird's sister? 2. What did all the animals plan to do? 3. Which animal came first? 4. How long did the little bird scold the first animal for? 5. Which animal came second? 6. Where did the little bird sit? 7. Did the second animal laugh or get angry? 8. What did the little bird say to its mother? Review the pronunciation of ED. ID after T or D. Skated, painted, dusted. Wanted, needed, mended, tended, attended. T sound after any voiceless sound. Kissed, fixed, danced, washed, watched, laughed, sniffed, worked, jumped. D after any voiced sound. Robbed. Hugged, crawled, combed, listened, snored, dived, used, changed, played, shampooed. Page 54. F. Read aloud. Beat. Beat. Cut. Cut. Hit, hit, shot, shot, put, put, blow, blue, bring, brought, catch, caught, fly, flew, hear, heard, keep, kept. Leave, left, where, war, win, won, wake, woke, throw, threw, send, sent, lend, lent, lose, lost, choose, chose, go, went. Come, came, bite, bit, find, found, have, had. Page 55. What did you do yesterday, last week, or last month? Yesterday, I throw, threw, send. Sent, lend, lent, lose, lost, choose, chose, hear, heard, leave, 
left, where, war, win, won, come, came, blow, blue, find, found, catch, caught, fly, flew, keep, kept, beat, beat, cut, cut, hit, hit, shut, shut, put, put, go, went, wake, woke, bite, bit, bring, brought, have, had. Page 56. Lesson 12, Review 3. A. Read the past simple tense forms of these verbs. Buy, bought. Sweep, swept. Eat, ate. Give, gave. Do, did. Hang, hung. Sit, sat. Take, took. Think, thought. Tell, told. Stand, stood. Write, wrote. Break, broke. Sing, sang. Speak, spoke. Grow, grew. Send, sent. Make, made. Draw, drew. Sell, sold. Swim, swam. Teach, taught. Ride, rode. Drive, drove. Sleep, slept. Page 60. Practice speaking. Last weekend was great for me. Saturday morning, after breakfast, my family decided to go to my aunt's house for lunch. Hooray! I was happy, so I did my homework as fast as I could. My mother prepared some food, and I helped her by looking after my little sister and playing with her. In the afternoon, we showered and got ready to leave for my aunt's house. Once there, we had a great time. My cousin was also there, too. When it was time to eat lunch, my mom and aunt served the dishes, and we all enjoyed a great yummy lunch. After that, we fell asleep. In the evening, we had tea and went for a drive in the city. It was so much fun, and we really enjoyed the day. When we got back home, we were tired, so we slept early. Tell me about your last weekend. Page 61. Lesson 13. Future Simple Tense. A. Repeat after your teacher. Tomorrow, he will play soccer. He will swim along the river. He will water the garden. He will eat a hamburger. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. I will swim. I won't swim. Will I swim? He will swim. He won't swim. Will he swim? She will swim. She won't swim. Will she swim? It will swim. It won't swim. Will it swim? We will swim. We won't swim. Will we swim? You will swim. You won't swim. Will you swim? They will swim. They won't swim. Will they swim? 
The girl will swim. The girl won't swim. Will the girl swim? The girls will swim. The girls won't swim. Will the girls swim? We use the future simple tense to express actions that are expected to happen in a future time. Next week, tomorrow, four days later. Subject plus will plus verb. Steve will go home early tonight. Joan will buy a rose for her mom next month. The doctor won't be here tomorrow. Kate won't fail the exam because she works hard. Will you come here next week? Page 62, B, the short form of will. I will, I'll. He will, he'll. She will, she'll. It will, it'll. We will swim, we'll swim. You will swim, you'll swim. They will swim. They'll swim. C. Common adverbs of time for the future simple tense. Next week. Next month. Next year. Next weekend. Next summer. Next Monday. Next time. Next birthday. In 2019. Two weeks later. Three months later, four years later, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, the day after tomorrow. Page 63. Monica lives in Utah. She is best friends with Amy. They used to be neighbors, but now Amy lives in Los Angeles. Monica will visit her soon. Dear Monica, I'm so happy you're coming to visit soon. When will you arrive? Will you travel by plane or train? I'll come to meet you anyway. We'll have such a great time. Since you're coming for a week, I have loads of things for us to do together. One day, we'll go to the Manhattan Beach. The sea here is lovely, and you can get a suntan too. I think we won't go to the theme park at Six Flags Magic Mountain, but we'll go to Disneyland on another day instead, which will be even better. One thing we'll have to do while you're here, is go to the Hollywood Boulevard. We'll take a selfie near the famous Hollywood sign, and then we'll walk along the Walk of Fame, where famous stars have left their hands and footprints in the concrete. I'll cook for you, and you'll stay in my house, so you don't need to worry about anything. It'll be amazing. Right back when you have time, Amy. 1. Will Amy come to meet Monica when she arrives? 2. Which beach will they go to? 3. What won't they do? 4. What will they do near the famous Hollywood sign? 5. Who will cook the meals? 6. What other two things will they do? 7. Where will Monica stay? Page 64. Read aloud using contractions. Now I'm at home having breakfast. Later, I won't be at home. I'll be at the office working. Now the children are fast asleep. 
Tomorrow morning, they won't be asleep. They'll be at school. Today, my mom is cooking meals for us. Tomorrow, she won't cook. My dad will cook for us. We're learning math in this class. Will you learn math next class? No, we won't. We'll learn Spanish next class. This is a puppy. Next year, it'll be a dog. Will it be a dog next week? No, it won't. It'll be a dog next year. It's the morning. It's cold now. Will it be cold in the afternoon? No, it won't. It'll be hot in the afternoon. Page 66. Lesson 14. Future be going to. Affirmative. I am going to swim. He is going to swim. She is going to swim. It is going to swim. We are going to swim. You are going to swim. They are going to swim. The girl is going to swim. The girls are going to swim. Negative. I am not going to swim. He isn't going to swim. She isn't going to swim. It isn't going to swim. We aren't going to swim. You aren't going to swim. They aren't going to swim. The girl isn't going to swim. The girls aren't going to swim. Interrogative. Am I going to swim? Is he going to swim? Is she going to swim? Is it going to swim? Are we going to swim? Are you going to swim? Are they going to swim? Is the girl going to swim? Are the girls going to swim? Intero negative. Am I not going to swim? Isn't he going to swim? Isn't she going to swim? Isn't it going to swim? Aren't we going to swim? Aren't you going to swim? Aren't they going to swim? Isn't the girl going to swim? Aren't the girls going to swim? A. Repeat after your teacher. Haley is thirsty. She is going to drink some water. She is opening the door. She is going to enter the room. We use the going to future to express an action in the near future that we plan or prepare. Subject plus be going to plus verb. Page 69. Practice speaking. It is nearly the holiday period. A class of English students are having a discussion about their plans for Christmas. Okay, class. Firstly, I'm going to tell you about one of my plans for Christmas. After that, I want you to each tell me one of your plans. Try to pay attention because there will be questions at the end. At Christmas, I'm going to cook a big turkey and have lots of friends over for dinner. At Christmas, I'm going to go home to Spain. I'm going to go shopping the day before Christmas. I'm not going to do anything this Christmas. I'm going to visit my family. This holiday, I'm going to go somewhere hot. I'm going to hang up lots of decorations in my apartment. I'm going to watch the lights being turned on in the town center. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go ice skating when the lake freezes over. Those are good plans. Is anyone going to a Christmas party? No? In that case, I will have one at my house. You are all welcome to come along. 1. Is the teacher going to be alone at Christmas? 2. Who is going to go somewhere hot? 3. What is Ariel going to do? 4. When is Sam going to go ice skating? 
5. What is Avita going to do? 6. What will the teacher do if the students are not going to a party? Page 71. Lesson 15. Review 4. Ling is a Chinese student who is studying in America to become a nurse. This is her first year in America. Her friends invited her to spend Thanksgiving with them. She wrote a letter home to her family to tell them all about it. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm really enjoying studying over here. It's November right now, and there's a festival soon called Thanksgiving. Tina and Kevin invited me to spend the day with them. We're going to have a Thanksgiving meal at their house. They told me that the most important thing to remember is the turkey. We're going to cook a huge turkey, which weighs about 15 pounds. With the turkey, we're going to have mashed potatoes with gravy, sweet corn, and cranberry sauce. After that, we're going to get together with some other friends and go to a bar to watch the soccer game. Then we're going to sing karaoke. It should be a lot of fun. I'll write to you again after the holiday. Hope you are both well. Love, Ling. 1. Who is Ling going to spend Thanksgiving with? 2. What special foods are they going to have for Thanksgiving? 3. How heavy is the turkey they are going to buy? 4. What are they going to do after the meal? 6. 5. Are they going to watch a baseball game or a soccer game? 6. When will Ling write to her parents again? Page 73. Practice speaking. D. What are they doing? Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm the little boy in the picture. This is my family. We're going camping. Can you see... 1. What am I holding in my right hand? 2. What am I holding in my left hand? 3. Is my father cooking a chicken? 4. If not, what is he doing? 5. Is my mother holding a big bowl with only one hand? 6. Who is holding a spoon? 7. Who is wearing a mitten on their right hand? 8. Who is wearing pink shoes? 9. Who is wearing red slippers? 10. Who is wearing a pair of glasses? Page 75. Read aloud. This is a list of some irregular verbs in English. Of course, there are many others, but these are the more common irregular verbs. Base form, past simple form, past participle form. Be, was, were, been. Beat, Beat, beaten. Become, became, become. Begin, began, begun. Bite, bit, bitten. Blow, blew, blown. Break, broke, broken. Bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. 
Burn, burnt, burnt. Buy, bought, bought. Catch, caught, caught. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Cut, cut, cut. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn. Drive, drove, driven. Drink, drank, drunk. Eat, ate, eaten. Feel, felt, felt. Find, found, found. Fly, flew, flown. Get, got, gotten. Give, gave, given. Go, went, gone. Grow, grew, grown. Hang, hung, hung. Have, had, had. Hear, heard, heard. Hit, hit, hit. Keep, kept, kept. No, new, known. Leave, left, left. Lend, lent, lent. Let, let, let. Lie, lay, lane. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Meet, met, met. Put, put, put. Read, read, read. Ride, rode, ridden. Run, ran, run. Say, said, said. See, saw, seen. Sell, sold, sold. Send, sent, sent. Shut, shut, shut. Sing, sang, sung. Sit, sat, sat. Sleep, slept, slept. Speak, spoke, spoken. Stand, stood, stood. Swim, swam, swum. Take, took, taken. Teach, taught, taught. Tell, told, told. Think, thought, thought. Throw, threw, thrown. Wake, woke, woken. Wear, war, worn. Win, won, won. Write, wrote, written.